Hey everybody, we're back. So we're heading down this hallway. Hopefully we'll find somebody of more interest than Kilame. Kilame? Yeah, sorry about that last video, guys. Yeah, I, it happens. It's, you know, I could plan better, but I, I watch a lot of people on YouTube, not a lot, and I feel like I've watched them play RPGs and it, you know, it's just down to style. Do you want to cut out all these boring fights? You just want to cut to the interesting parts, you know? It really is a style. And me personally, I know we've discussed this before. I just, I like to leave a lot of this stuff in. And I know All Dragon, uh, I've been watching a lot of his channel again recently. He likes to leave it in. But um, I know, like, uh, Gamesmith likes to cut it out, and Luther likes to cut it out. And I guess it just depends on your style. But I like to torture you guys if you get in as part of the experience. Although, if it's just mindless leveling, then obviously I'm getting cut that out. Like we did it too, we were leveling all everybody from Luca and Blight, not legit. So I was listening to a, a podcast by a game developer a couple of weeks back. And uh, he was talking about how, you know, a lot of the game design these days is kind of taking out those tedious parts that you get to the actual gameplay sooner. <laughs> and and so he was giving a couple of examples of that, like with StarCraft. He was saying, like, you know, originally, you know, you had, like, one drone, basically, or zero drones or whatever, and then you had to build all of them. And then eventually it was like, yep. the, they keep giving you, like, more and more and more drones, that way you can get to the actual gameplay sooner. Yeah, I think you actually start with, like... I haven't played StarCraft 2 in a while, but I know it now it's like you start with, like, five or something ridiculous, and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, but it... Again, it cuts minutes off the game time, though. Like, now you're just jumping right into the game, right? Yeah. Um, so anyway, he was talking about some of that sort of stuff, and he's like, but at what point does it kind of cross over from just, like, speeding the game up for stuff that you do all the time to, like... Okay, so you're sending playing units over to their... You. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Playing the game for you. And with an RPG, that's ah. especially true. Now we have someone more interesting here. Make sure the door opens this time. We can't afford further delays. Uber. Don't worry, we should be fine now that the true fire rune has been unsealed. There's also the reemergence of the true lightning rune, and the breaking of the seal kept by Alma Keenan to help us along. bothers me how they spell Sindar in this game. I don't know why. I think they could keep the same dang spelling. <laughs> wow, that is some fancy magic on that door. Damn, not him again. Oh no! What's going on? Oh, my house just creaked. It scared me. <laughs> the door is opening. I was like, oh my gosh, my house is shaking too. <sighs> this magic made my air conditioner turn on. Finally, the first one. At last. Don't rush in. Well, they don't know they're being followed. What is he up to? Let's find out. I'm sure following with a giant griffin and dragon won't just, won't, you know, cause us to be seen at all. It, I like to think they're I surreptitious. I hate this place so much, you guys. I never really bothered, like, was bothered by it as much as you were. I, I, I have no sense of direction here. What the heck is this place? Get a move on. Unless we follow soon, they'll be lost for good. <laughs> Don't think he's voice acted. I couldn't hear anything. Um. You want to, yeah, I was like, save. Yeah. I, you have to come to this place a lot. This is not the, this is not gonna be the only time we're gonna come here. Um, and I feel like every freaking time I come here, I get lost and it's just, uh It's so easy though. You just stick, good. you just hang left and eventually you make it, right? Left it is, let's go. I 
I honestly don't remember my way around. You know, and if I was smart, I'd get like, uh, I mean, I have the map here, but like, I would have like a real like walkthrough map, but I mean, I haven't bothered to plan anything yet, so <laughs> why start now? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is not Dragon Quest XI. My first instinct was, I can't see around that corner, let me put it in first person view. Yeah, that is, un that is an unnecessary thing you can do in Dragon Quest XI, is you can actually stop and look in first person view and look around and zoom in at things. I mean, I haven't seen a reason to do it, but it's still fun all the same to like stop and just look at stuff. Wow, these things are tough. Like how Rody just runs in even though it's not like anything. Hurt him for one damage. Yes. <laughs> oh, Rody. Let's see how that magic resist does. Come on, one damage. Yeah! <laughs> Rody is earning his keep. Definitely. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check Butch's sword. Oh well, I'm not too concerned about it. Come on, attack Rodi for one damage. Yeah. It's gonna be difficult to keep up with this. <laughs> this is so broken. <laughs> it's like that one guy in Suicide and Five who can knock out anything, including the final boss, and just keep him knocked out. Ridiculous. Um, go ahead. North ish. Uh, yeah, I think kind of go straight across to the north uh, west. I think I'm not sure. I'm tempted to just run, but yeah, you're fine. This is easy experience. Yeah, I could use the money. Just kidding. I just looks so funny when he's flying. Oh no, one damage. <laughs> you know what? That adds up. That with with four of them attacking, and like three of them alive to attack <laughs> per turn. I mean, like okay, so it's kind of like a uh, what, what do you call that? I'm, not a, I'm drawing a blank. What's After the What's after 400 of these attacks, I might die. Well, what do you call it when you put the exclamation earn point after a number? I just tell you, factorial. It's kind of like a factorial type. It's a summation you know, thing here. Go on. You know what I just remembered that you did on your game near the end? Is you put that sun armor on him so he recovered like 5 HP per turn or something ridiculous. So he gained it all back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I remember that now. I should, I should probably do that too. I need to find that thing. Yeah, it was like otherwise just completely useless armor, but you put it on him and suddenly it's like, okay, you want to get rid of all the damage that's done to your entire party in no time at all for free? Yeah. It was like an accessory that you put on him. I, I just now remembered that. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. Because I don't think I had the intelligence to do that when I figured out this strategy, and then you were like, oh my gosh, I'm going to try it. And I was like, oh man, he gets back all five health that he lost. Okay. Uh, let's see what's down here. A fight. Please, okay, thank you. I was like, please don't be those stupid dragons. It takes so long to attack me. <laughs> it's dead. I'm gonna take off and fight it. Okay. Uh. Don't see anything here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I think there should be something in the top left. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, dead body. Um, let's see if anyone can wear that. Don't think so. Cannot equip. No, it's worse. That's worse. Wait, seriously? Okay. I mean, I knew I had good stuff on him, but geez. Yeah, right? Oh. Fart. 
Yes. Oh, at least these two scenes. These are crazy. Okay, so now the question is, which route do I take? The northern route or the middle route? I think you take the one that goes out the northeast. Okay. Hopefully he's close enough to my home. I like how Brody just bothers to come closer. It's like, why? He wants to make it easier for them to find him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there are concerns that being as dumb and easy to distract as they are, they may not find him unless he makes himself obvious. Oh, good. We got some mega medicines. We can use that right before we need to. Alrighty. So you're saying, wait, so you're saying this north path? No, I was saying the other one, I think. The... Can I take that path? Huh? I, I I think I can take that. It's kind of hard to tell on some of these maps when there's a path like over you instead of on the same level as you. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen that yet, but yeah. Yeah, like, this is... I, I think there's a section... I don't know if it's this dungeon or... I don't know. I just... I hate this place. Loads of fun. It's a good place. Fire woke up. He's gonna get into mischief. I know it. I'm gonna wind to go outside. This is a new thing. He just is obsessive with our new yard. Our new yard has a ton of grass, so he just loves to go out and roll on grass. And we got a lot of wildlife out there, so like, I've seen a skunk back there, squirrels, um, about a bajillion birds. If they're not in the grass, I don't think. I've never seen them in the grass, but I wouldn't doubt they've gone into the grass at some point to pick up stuff. So why did Flitch just fly around there at the end? Yeah, <laughs> he's getting some, some good uh, flight time in. Yeah, so here's what I was talking about with the, the path over a path. Mm hmm. That's it? That's all he did? That was oh, don't mind Hugo. <laughs> Just shoot that fireball at him. He has the fire rune, true fire rune. What does it matter to him? <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> By definition, it's true. Oh, I just realized that Rhodey's gonna keep healing after each turn because of our support character. Yep. I had forgotten she was with us. I was like, wait, why is he at full health? Okay, um... Well, I... Yeah, you can already see how this map can be confusing. Okay. Uh... Uh, let's see here. You take the, uh, the now go southeast first is what it's is. So I think I can go. S I think go south here. Okay. Nope. Okay. Let's try the others. Let's try the other southeast. <laughs> let's try this one. It's like one is south and one is east, and then there's two east. So right. It was so funny, um, Helper and I were driving around San Diego and I said, so I need to take a left, and he goes, right. And I'm like, oh no, right! And he goes, no, I was saying right to going left! <laughs> That's why I just started <laughs> saying correct when we're doing driving directions. Yeah, I, I, we, we finally learned to do that after the, that incident. Yeah, we were driving through Houston this last week, and uh, I was in the right lane, I'd been listening to Google Maps because my wife had it up on her phone, and she's like, now it looks like you're going to need to be kind of uh, doing a jaunt to the right, and then we're going to be eventually taking a left, so you probably should be in the left lanes. I'm like, okay. So I, I get over two lanes to get into the left lane. She's like, okay, here comes that jaunt to the right. Oh, it's not a jaunt, it's a turn. <laughs> I'm like, so I needed to be in the right lane, that, that one that we just drove by? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, well that didn't happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> what now? <laughs> yeah. she, it's like our trip, our, our trip from, San, uh, from Monterey to San Diego when we started out, I told myself I only needed to memorize a few turns. Because other than that, we're just going to be on the interstate the rest of the way. And I missed one of the turns in my brain. So I called Helper, who was in the other car, and I said, Did I miss the turn? Can you verify with your nav system? And he's like, Yeah, sure. But we didn't bother to check which direction the nav system, his nav system, was going to take us compared to the nav system that I looked at originally. So it decided to take us the most scenic and long route possible. 
So we completely turned around. I kept thinking, where's the interstate? Where's the interstate? Where's the interstate? And then we get to Pismo Beach, and I'm like, we are nowhere near the interstate. And apparently we just took, like, the most scenic route possible. It was, it was a nice drive until we got to L.A. And if any of you guys live in L.A., you're nuts. Um, but, like, I think it took us longer to get through L.A. than it did to actually get to L.A. <laughs> 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 it was so stupid, but yeah, I just I always, I've been kind of laughing about that story. I was like, I wonder why his nap system decided to turn us completely around and go like the longest route possible. But it was pretty. <laughs> well, they had that going for it at least. Yeah, it was very scenic, um, and we saw a lot of in and outs. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, have you had in and out in Texas? Yes, and it's very different. That's what I was going to say. I've heard it's different because I, I vaguely remember in and out from my time when I lived in California. And I remember really, really enjoying it. And I remember hearing stories that they would never spread because they knew they couldn't spread while maintaining the quality. And then the guy that founded it died and his daughter took over and then they started spreading. And I've heard that the Texas ones are just nowhere near as good as the ones that were back in California. Yeah, that is a correct statement. Um, they're not horrible by any means, but it doesn't taste at all the same. Yeah. Okay, so, I think it's just because the ingredients are different. Well, it's good to know that there still is the good ones out there somewhere. Um, I think it's just... That's one thing I've learned about being in California. Is I just feel like... I mean, except for the beef, because you don't get fresher beef anywhere than Texas. I'd say I feel like everything else tastes fresher in California. But the downside of living in California is every single thing in California causes cancer. And it's really obnoxious. Like, I, I mean, I understand. Like, I'm not joking. Like, every single thing, like a door handle will have the sign on it. This door handle causes cancer. And it's just really irritating. Every single place you go, every single thing causes cancer. It's like, this parking lot has been known to cause cancer. And I'm like, ah. I'm not joking about the parking lot one. That one really frustrated me. I was like, it's a stupid parking lot. Why does it cause cancer? Do not ingest parking lots. Yeah, don't lick the parking lot. Hofer's <laughs> laughing at me because it's just like, I was just like, come on, really? Do we have to mention that this parking lot causes cancer? You know what? If, like, if we're playing full throttle, you do have to mention that you shouldn't lick parking lots. <laughs> We licked everything else in there. You know, I've watched several other people LP that game, and no one has tried to lick the piano except us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we like to bring something unique to the playthroughs that we do. <laughs> I was a little disappointed when I watched uh, Delando's, and he did not lick the piano. I was like, oh, really? To be fair, I had no intention of licking the piano, and it was completely your idea. <laughs> I know, but how could you not? I mean, I never even would have occurred to me. I'm, I'm weird. I do weird things in games. Um, Alright, I think we're almost to where we're trying to get to. Are we? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. This, this, this screen feels familiar. Okay, I'll take your word for it because I'm completely turned around and I don't think I took you in the right direction. Yes. The fact that the camera turned gives me bad vibes. Okay, I think we took the direct route here. I was trying to steer you to get all the side quest stuff, but okay, sure. I, uh, so we're missing stuff. All sorts of pickups. I know we're I know we're missing something bigger, but not important. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there is all sorts of like random little treasures we missed along the way. Well, we're gonna be back here. Yeah, we'll be back plenty of times, like you said. We'll definitely be dozens okay, of times, so here hundreds. We go. Uh oh, they're too far ahead of me. Sorry, but you can't go further. You! They're conducting a very important ritual just beyond here, so I can't let you pass. Ritual? What ritual this time? It would be impossible for you to grasp our ultimate goal. Please go back. I always kind of question if she really understands it. We won't back off! Then I'll have to keep you occupied. Uh oh. After the last time we fought her, I don't trust her. Okay. Yeah, do not take her lightly. I. Uh, well, maybe you need to take her. I don't think I need to worry about using this move in the fight I'm thinking of. Oh, that's true. I don't think it would do me any good. So well, I'm gonna go ahead. What? I was trying to remember if fire is effective or not. 
don't think it is. Okay. Should we be on the cautious side just in case? I think so. Okay, well I'll use explosion. That should be that should be enough. I'm definitely gonna save okay, yeah, he's got lighting, I'm saving that. Let's go ahead and use spreading flame. Which does nothing. Okay, I'm gonna have him defend because I don't want him in that roast. You've already seen what happens when I kill him. Please heal yourself. Okay, good. Whew! It's a good thing she's fast. I mean, you want to get in and take her out. Yeah, I might just run in and take her out. She's just gonna keep going. Oh, dang it. I think he just exploded. He did. It'll be fine. I think I have an anti-toxin. I need to get everyone away from Rhodey. Well, safest place then is gonna be right next to her. Yeah. I don't think I have an anti-toxin. I don't want to fish around in the bag either, so... He's just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, could she stop chanting? She really did stop chanting? Sheesh. <laughs> well, we must have we must have angered her by not chanting. What's that noise? Sorry. This is exasperating. Stop trying to go where you don't belong. Oops. What is it? It's <laughs> an odd comment. I just say it doesn't feel right. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? An explosion? This music is so pretty. Does this have something to do with the power of the room? D did something go wrong? Stop! Stop right there! Please don't run into me, go. Please. No, don't go in there. Whoa, where'd she just disappear to? What just happened? Okay, so I'm gonna mention this song is one of my favorites in this whole soundtrack, and I'm really glad that they actually put it in later so we can games too. I have so many renditions of this song. Okay, um take these guys out real quick. I'm gonna heal up. And save. Dang it. We're 24 minutes in, and I'm afraid. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take the risk that this fight, upcoming fight won't take like a million hours. Yeah, I was like, do the fight. Because, yeah, we'll do the fight. I just, this fight, for me personally, I think it's the hardest fight in a Sweden game. I, the first time I did it, I don't even know how many times I died. And then it wasn't until. Like, I think I just left completely. I got Fudge and Bright, and I figured out this upcoming strategy, which is kind of lame. Um, and there there are other strategies that people can take to win this fight. Oh my god, do I not have an antitoxin? I don't. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Oh no. He's gonna take so much damage from that. It's it's 20 damage a turn. Uh, I mean, compared I to, to you're you're that. gonna be healing everyone else just for the damage they're taking more than that. Okay. Um. Byron. Oh 
hope you guys can't hear him whining. I don't know what he's whining. Oh, I should know what he's whining about. He wants to go outside. He always wants to go outside. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see if I can do this on my first try. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably like, you need to play the game and you're like, this is not that hard. I'll just run. Okay, good. Um, maybe I'm just terrible at it. <laughs> Who knows? Everybody has their weak points. But he's right up there with the zombie dragon, in my opinion, for the, for the first game. It makes up for this fight. I just don't want to fight these things. I just want to get there. Gosh darn it. Just remember, yeah, just... I, I mean... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, whatever you do, make sure you go back and save before you run up ahead. <laughs> yeah, right. I was trying to remember if poison eventually just works itself out of his system. I don't think it does in this game. Okay, I couldn't remember. I can't remember. I usually take care of it pretty quick. God, what is this? Here it comes. Get ready. <laughs> I'm not joking, you guys. I'm like, this is when I embarrass myself beyond all reason on how bad I am. Ah, <sighs> the water dragon from most likely the water rune. Okay, so here's the thing. This is where the fighting system gets obnoxious because I don't know if you guys remember if something is in your way and you can't hit it, the thing you're trying to hit, if something else is in your way. Well, guess what? All those stupid little ice pillars are literally blocking me from attacking that ice dragon. Um, physically. So what you have to do to get physical hits in is, guess what, being runic, it's not gonna take a lot of, like, damage from spells, is you need to get in there. And for some ungodly reason, and I don't understand why, Futch and Bright can actually get stuck up in there, up against the water dragon. So when we destroy an ice pillar, we need to throw Futch in as fast as humanly possible. And that's my strategy, is to get him stuck in there. And if it's too close, the water dragon, if I remember correctly, the water dragon won't be able to attack Futch because he's too close. Um, so you were suggesting me just blowing its brains out here. Yeah, you could try. I mean, we'll go ahead and do that. I don't think he's going to do anything. And that way, at least, um, we can try to get rid of a ice pillar. Now, the thing is, once we kill an ice pillar, there's an almost immediate reaction for this thing to replace it. So, yeah, and those things attack in groups. So, it's not really worth our time to try to get rid of them. But... I'm just hoping it's way better than I'm making it out to be. Because <laughs> I normally lose. Oh good, they're still chanting. I'm honestly surprised. This is another reason why I'm bringing Rhodey, is uh, they're just going to keep doing this over and over and over. So a third one's going to come. Get rid of at least get rid of it. Okay, um so what I'm gonna do Hugo went first, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another explosion. And then I'm gonna have Futch run in and take out little B here. And have Sergeant Joe take out B as well. I kind of wanted the one in front of Sergeant Joe a little bit more. Uh oh, Futch so went in he first. Reach it. Uh oh. Thanks, Futch. Oh, it's because he was casting last time. Oh, I think he's blocking. Does he look like he's blocking? I can't tell. I can't tell. Nope, not. 
good job. Okay, we got a hole. So we need to get Butch and Bright in there and possibly start to jump. Fast. Maybe we want to lose Butch. Do we lose Butch? What the heck? We just lost our healer. Okay. Um. So you guys, I'm amazing at this game. See, now that there's five of them instead of six, they can't really do that. They, they choose generally not to do that cycle. Oh, fudge. I can heal. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal push and right, and then they need to get in. We might still have a chance if they keep attacking Brody, and I keep away from him. It's possible. It's possible, but I'm not holding out. Get in there. Okay, he should be there. So even if he responds it, which he's just about to do. Oh no, he's gonna attack Butch. What are you attacking Butch for? You're supposed to attack Rhodey. Okay, good. So he's gonna do this time. See, this is my this is my goal here. Was my idea was I was gonna have Butch and Bright run in. I was gonna have Sergeant Joe heal, and I was gonna have Rhodey take all the damage. But. Is he hunched over because he's poisoned, or is he hunched over because he's about to die? I think poisoned. Okay, yeah, so... It's a um... Well, sorry, Ro, you're getting a lot Oh no, I can't give it to him. I guess I'm gonna have to do, um... Feeling wind again. Yep. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to use it. I, I didn't think I was gonna do this on my first try, but I can't believe I lost Sergeant Joe so early. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I don't understand why. Okay, so. Hit Rody for about the first time. Ninety. Goodness. Just to see him wait this out. I mean, still though, ninety is you know roughly half of what you healed for. I mean, just think about how much more damage this thing would be doing if he was attacking somebody other than Rhodey. Yeah, right? That's the thing. Like, just keep that in perspective. So Rhodey is... I mean, he can, of course, use healing, but he doesn't need it. Well, I'm out of heals anyway, so... I, I'm curious if I can get into the same hole. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Oops. I don't think I can get both of them in that hole. Yeah, he just restored the ice pillar, but see it's behind me, so I should be I should be stuck inside. Now Hugo's actually stuck outside. Oh wait, what happened? He missed. Did it not form. I don't it's, know. Which is is Bright's butt too big? Normally it forms. I thought it was just like that. I don't know what happened. I thought I saw it. I thought I saw the health restore. Yeah, I saw the health restore too. Okay, well we're. Oh, you know what? Actually, Fudge might be able to heal him with the mega medicine. I'm a little cheese here that I'm using Fudge to heal, and he's supposed to be doing all the damage. <gasps> Is he in there? Nice. Okay, well you can't feed a rotting lunch box, but you can feed this mega medicine. What? I can't have beat it to, I don't understand. Fine. Yeah, 
unfortunately he can't. Even if I gave him items, he can't use them. We're gonna get to find out what happens when it hits somebody besides Brody. So this was doing what 90 damage to Brody? Yep. they could heal themselves. Yeah, but, I mean, that's just a waste of time. Well, Mega Medicine will do 200 healing. Maybe it'll just die! Oh! That might actually be worth trying to keep, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Yep. So there you go, that's, that's the fight that I hate. Um... It's yep. already almost 40 minutes, so I think what we're going to do is just try again next time. I think we just got really unlucky with losing Sergeant Joe so early. Yeah, that was just unfortunate. Uh, so we'll see you guys next time we try again, so bye for now. Bye, guys.